What's poppin' Kakanda family? Welcome back to my video. Welcome back to seeing myself and my twin, my mom. Hi. <laughs> Say your name, mom. My name is Tina Kela's mom. How are you? <laughs> what is it called? Kakonda family. Yes. Kakonda family. So basically what we're going to be doing today is going to have a little bit of a mother and daughter bond. But the difference is I'm going to be asking my mom questions that she has to answer. Basically about being a mother or overall who she is and you know, stuff like that. So basically, let's start the video. Okay. So firstly, how are you? I'm good, my love. How, how do you feel to be on YouTube? For the first time, well, not your first time. You know, I don't love being on YouTube. But I what can I do when you insisted that I have to be in the YouTube video? So that's great. That's okay. <laughs> okay, so um, since you're not that old, what do you most look forward to in the future? What do you mean if, since I'm not that old? Well, like you still have a bright future. <laughs> okay, I'm... Um, <laughs> hey, your questions, you should have at least told me what you're going to ask prior to this interview of yours. But anyway, it's fine. I just want to see you growing big, healthy, and doing so well in your life. And putting God at all times. Okay. Um, how did you becoming a mother challenge you? It did not challenge me at all. I was excited to become a mother because I wanted to be a mother. It was time for me to become a mother. And I couldn't wait to be your mother. So it did not challenge me. I'm excited to be your mother and I'm happy to be a mother. So, <laughs> why are you laughing? That's how my mom is usually on a <laughs> daily basis, always saying nice things. <laughs> Um, what's one difficult thing about being my mother? Um, nothing much. It's not really, I can't call it difficult. I can say it's a blessing for me to have you as my daughter. You are, um, you know, as a mother of Kayla that is loved by many, so many people love you and it gives me joy, happiness. And I thank God and praise God all the time for you, for giving me a daughter that is God-fearing, that is loved by many, that is obedient like the way you are. So yes, that's my answer for you. I'm a good kid. <laughs> yes, you are. Um, what else? If you had one thing to say to your children, what would it be? To my children? You and your brother. Yeah. I would say keep on being focused the way you are. Um, you are young, my daughter, but you've made me so proud at all times. And your brother is um, also another blessing that I have. So I would say to my children, uh, put, put, put God first at all times in your life. Be focused. Uh, keep on climbing that ladder. Uh, for your uh, elder brother, I would say climb that corporate ladder as you have been doing and put God first at all times and everything else shall be added unto your lives. Amen. Amen. And thank you. Yes. You see mothers always speak like this, always have to involve the Bible all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an evangelist, so what do you expect? Oh, and in case some of you guys didn't know, yes, my mom is an evangelist. She loves God so much that she just continues to follow him and follows his steps all the time. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> what do you dislike about getting older? It's experiencing a lot of things and paying bills. Bills, yeah, bills, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's what I don't like about being older. And getting all the bills that they keep on going higher and higher. So I would prefer to become a child again so that I don't have to face um, bills. Yeah. You, you are in expense. Yes, you are. No. I am. 
I'm an investment. Yeah, in whatever, whatever you are thinking, it's your own thinking. But you are such an expense. You and your brother. Well, Dobby's out of it because he's older. Yeah, of course. But you were an expense. If I was young, I was not for gonna. At least for a while, I was not gonna have a challenge of have to pay bills. So bills, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what happened to my questions? Oh, you actually have a lot of questions for me. Yes. But at least you should have told me prior to this. Don't worry. <laughs> I always have a plan. Ooh, tell the story of meeting the love of your life, my dad. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> it's a story for another day. Uh, not today. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow, wow. I don't have time for this. Okay. Who is your favorite child? Be very wise. Hello? I have no favorite child. I love my kids the same. Pick one. No, I cannot do that. I love you and Dobson the same way. Mm. Yes. Why would you expect me to choose you? Because that's what you want me to do. No, I love both of you the well, same way. I'm still with you. He, he left you. He, he, you are still going to leave me as well. You always talk about leaving me anyway. So True. It makes you sad. <laughs> so I love you both the same. Mm, I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> describe your favorite dish. What do you mean describe? I love African food. Mm -hmm. Um made in an African way, because I'm an African woman. Um, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with eating any Western food. Mm -hmm. It's good, but I just love African dishes, and they will remain my favorite. If you would want a superpower, what would it be? It can only come from God. <laughs> Which superpower? Every gift that God is given on this earth. So I wouldn't call it a superpower. I would call it the power of God. Interesting. <laughs> so I would call it superpowers <laughs> from God Almighty in heaven. Yeah. Okay, well. <laughs> Talk about how your career affected your role as a mother. Because you travel um, so much. Okay. Being an evangelist, being the one spreading the gospel of God in different countries. Um, there are times, of course, that I leave you, my children, with your dad. Of course, I would want to be there. I would like to see um, every step you take every day, I want to hold your hand, pray for you every day before you go to school and come back. Uh, but because of the kind of work that I do, I spend most of the or most of my time not being at home with you. So it is affected, not really affected, but slightly with the fact that I don't have you, I have to I don't have to see you every day. So yeah. It has affected me little for not seeing you every day and not being there for you to hold your hand every day. That's the only thing that has affected me. But I'm glad that I'm preaching the gospel of God everywhere and all the time. I would say this would be our last question. Looking at the time, you know, I don't want to make this video way too long. We can always do a part two. Uh, there's not going to be any part two no, because we... you just caught me off guard. I don't even know what I'm answering. <laughs> <laughs> you must always be prepared. You always say, always be prepared. Amen. Yes, my daughter. Exactly. I'm implementing now. Yeah. Um, who was the biggest... I thought you said we are done. I said last question. All right. <laughs> who was the biggest influence on your life? Influencer. Mm. I this, influence, this influencer thing is isn't it a new thing? Are you talking about celebrities? What, what I mean like um <laughs> like who's someone that influenced you a lot in your life? Like it doesn't need to be an influencer like through social media and stuff. 
it's growing up yes um i would say my grandma um and my granddad but you said the influencer they were not influencers as well at all and they were not celebrities at all so looking at the fact that you want the influencers and um what I, I would say be... Nelson Mandela. Was Nelson Mandela an influencer? Well, like, he was a freedom fighter, which mm -hmm. could also lead to influence. But I didn't really want an influencer, just somebody that influenced your life growing up. It doesn't need to be Okay, my grandparents yeah. did play a bigger role in every way, in every sense that I am today. They are the ones that made what I am today. And... Even being uh, the way I love church, the way I love um, doing the work of God, it was all because of them. They were pastors of churches of a certain ministry before. So I guess we are just following their footsteps. That's good. That's very good. Woman of God. Thank you so much for joining me and my mother on a talk show. Please comment down below if you would like a part two, part three, part four, part five, part six, because I would like to have that again. I know she doesn't want it, but I want it again. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Love you. <laughs> Wonder family. Oh my goodness. Let's go. I was at the hotel eating better chini all day. Uh, I don't do like Winnie. Uh, wanna get a guinea. Uh, right now.